Thank you for choosing Defender and welcome to our menu navigation support video series. The next section of the menu is System. From here you can set up the date, time, and language, as well as create user profiles, change the password, and see system information. The first tab of this menu is General. Date allows you to set the date. Time will allow you to set the time. Date Format. Here you can select how the date is listed in the live view. To change the format, select the drop down and you'll get a list of options. Select the desired option and select apply to save the change. Time format. Here you can choose between a 12 hour clock and a 24 hour clock. To change the time format, select the drop down and pick from the two options, then select apply to save the settings. Daylight savings time or DST. You can program your DVR to automatically switch to Daylight Savings Time. Use this menu to do so. NST or Network Time Protocol. This allows you to set your DVR to sync its time with various web servers to ensure that the DVR is always set to the exact time. To change the language, select the drop-down and highlight the language you'd like to select. Apply to save these settings and the DVR will restart and the menu will now be in the chosen language. Video Format There are two video formats that can be chosen from, NTSC and PAL. NTSC is used in North America and Japan. PAL is used in European countries. Please note that if the format selected is not supported by your monitor, you will be unable to see the DVR on your screen. Menu Timeout This option allows you to set how long the menu will stay up during an activity. To set the menu timeout, Select the drop-down and choose from 1 minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or off. Select Apply to save your settings. The next tab of this section is Users. From here you can change the username and password that is set by default to admin in 123456. You can also set up 7 user profiles and adjust permission levels for each one. Follow these steps to change the admin username and password. To enable user profiles and set permission levels, you may follow the same steps as the administrator password to change. Once complete, you can click the permission box to select the permissions you want that user to have. The boxes are Backup, Live, Playback, and PTZ, as well as each camera channel you want to allow that user to have access to. You can also press all the buttons for the user to have all permissions, or clear to delete all of the permissions. The last tab of this section is version. This tab lists the following information for your DVR. Device name, device ID, device type, MAC address, software version, IE version, and hardware version. 